Hi guys, how are you? It's uh, Claire's again and today I have some interesting news right off the bat before I even tell you what this tutorial is going to be about. I purchased finally a um, paint mixing pan, I guess if you want to call it, um, palette box, that's what it's called. And I ordered it off Amazon and I literally thought this would be something like this big and it's turned out to be like this massive thing that you open and it's got all these compartments like it's so huge it doesn't even fit on the camera right here like that's crazy I literally have to like slide it down for you to see uh, but I'm excited because uh, while I loved my little shell and I will still use it this allows me to sort of mix paints um, that are needed on a larger scale and for my larger brushes and this way things won't mix and I won't get the really mixed up look even though mind you I do like the mixed up look because I don't want um, a variation of the colors makes more of an interesting visual than just something that's just stoic in nature or consistent in color if you catch my griff, drift all right, so I just wanted to show this to you because uh, I know everyone comments on my little shell. So I was just going to say I got something new and uh, yeah, so I'm going to try it out today for this tutorial and this tutorial is going to be on roses. Um, I did some roses a couple of days ago and I got a couple of comments. So I said, I'm just going to do them again. And these roses are going to be a very soft um soft look yes with a soft edge so let me just mix the colors and we will begin and to start off I'm just going to let you know that I am going to be using my uh, Reeves um, watercolors and I'm going to be using the crimson blending it with the white and for the brushes I am using my Old Faithful which is the squirrel mop uh, my silver black velvet four and just the regular nine. It is a nine, right? Yes, it's a nine. Hoping it wasn't like a six or something. All right, so I'm gonna mix them and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I forgot to remind myself uh, that a little goes a long way and so I wanted a really, really light pink and instead of I have like a medium pink so I'm just going to introduce the other uh, silver black velvet brush as well which is the number eight uh, just so I can do a little bit of blending with water on this with this one um, so uh, to begin I am going to start with the center of it like I normally do um, I'm using a darker brown and here's how we begin so if you've been following most of my tutorials, you would know that the center is always like a browny yellow color. I'm going to introduce the yellow right now. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my I'm going to go in with the with the plain brush that I have the new one and just a little bit of the of the pink I'm going to start creating the inside petals more water is needed something like this and it's okay if it touches the center and I'm just going to go in and just very lightly swish this color around and create what kind of looks like the inside petals and I'm keeping um, like a little bit of white space between the petals so it looks like they're individual ones and then as I go outside I'm just going to go even more with the water and ok 
continue to do the petal formation. Sometimes touching the inside, sometimes not so much. And then I'm going to take the, the one that's saturated with the color and I'm just going to go inside and do this. And on the edges as well. This might actually be a little too much color, but let's just see what the results are, because when they dry, you never know. So I'm going to go back in with this and just swoosh this around. Make sure that it kind of blends in better. Noticing these colors are mixing a little bit differently than the St. Petersburg. But it's probably also to do with the fact that this is a most saturated pink here. So now I'm just going to take this brush of mine. It only has plain water in it and I'm just going at the edges and very lightly touching this so it kind of comes out a little bit. So again, it's like a hint of petals that are happening and I want this effect um, so it looks like, so it fades, so it's like it has like a fading look as opposed to just abruptly stopping with a hard edge. And I'm just going to end it here without going too much. And then on the inside too, I might just, not might, I am. Let's do a little more of connections so it looks like there's other petals in there all right then um, I'm just gonna go in with this harsh well not harsh the strong color and just do one final like layer because I want it to be dark on the inside and then light on the outside and just so we have this technique clear I'm just going to do it again on the side here So you can say this was my little warm up and I'm doing it again. See I have a little bit of yellow on this already. And I don't mind that because if it comes out like half yellow, half brown, I need that to look that way anyways, so it's fine. So now this might this one might come out a little bit differently. So let's just see what happens, okay? And I say a little bit differently is because I'm dabbing the color, a lot of color off this brush of mine onto a paper towel that I have. So using the same brush here, I'm taking a little bit of pink and swirling it. And swirling it and then swirls Touching up the edges right away just because it's wet right now and then so you can touch up you can touch up the insides even before like this one I, I think I did all the petals and then I went in to touch it up so you can do the touch-ups even before you do all your petals 
um, if your paper dries really quickly. So really, like try try a couple of different techniques just to see what works best for you, and stick with the the one that you like the results the best. And here we go. So now I'm going to take this one that I have, dip it with a little more color, and then go in. I want to go in the center first, and then go on the outside a little bit. Okay, and now going back with my black, I'm just going to make sure it's there's no more color on it and it's just literally just like water. And I'll do just a couple of the edges, not all of them. Cuz I don't I I I kind of like how the shape has turned out. So I don't want to mess the shape up, so I'm not going to do I shouldn't do it this side. And I shouldn't do this side either. This is good. So now I'll wait for this to dry a little bit and then what you can do is you can actually go in with a darker um a darker pink if you want something with a little more pop and then just highlight on the insides and kind of very lightly, not lightly, but with like a darker color just kind of highlight certain areas of the petals and that gives you a more 3D look. But since I said this is going to be like a very soft look, we're gonna end with this. So the whole basis of this was you do your little flower and then you take, um, you take a brush with water and you highlight the edges very lightly and so it has this little blend here. So it's not hard edge like this here, but it's more like blendy around here. So I hope that kind of made sense. And um, yeah, that was it. Just gonna keep it very simple for this tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. And I will um, do another one shortly. Thanks for watching guys. Um, as usual, if you have any comments or um, suggestions, questions, uh, please feel free to, you know, comment in the comments below or send me a message you can follow me on instagram you can follow me on facebook um, check out my website all that good stuff thanks guys and we will chat soon bye